When you think of Armageddon, what do you think of? You think of a movie, you think of, you know, the word Armageddon is, is something that, oh, it's the end of the world. People don't really understand what Armageddon really is. This is Armageddon, Jezreel, and, and basically, this is the culmination of a battle that's going to take place. And I'm a prophecy guy. Okay. He's talking about kings, he's talking about, he's talking about all, History is going to culminate right here. Have you heard of the tribulation period? Seven years of tribulation for those who haven't accepted Jesus Christ as Savior. They're left behind. There's a there's a movie called Left Behind. They go through all of all these bad things where God is judging judging the world. But at the end of the tribulation period, there's going to be this massive battle where all the nations that hate Israel are going to come together. They're going to meet somewhere through here they're coming here and they're going to gather against israel and against god so picture that every all of the nations all of the anti-semitic nations that are out there that hate israel i mean you can you can name them russia's going to be in it china's going. i mean we could do a study but these 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 they're bad nate they're going to come together and they're going to try to take down um they're going to try to take down israel the antichrist he's going to be the leader of it so, I mean, millions of people out here. But then, at right when, when it's getting ready to, to go down, that's when Jesus appears. That's when Jesus appears. I want to read a scripture. I think it would mean a lot to you. Uh, Revelation 19. Revelation 19, verse 11. So, you've got all the nations gathered together. This is the final, final, final battle. In this battle. This is it. Yeah, okay. This is it. You're standing when he says Jezreel, you know, yeah. you know, it's here. This is it where it's going to be. But this is Armageddon. <laughs> this is it. And here's the thing. If you're a Christian, if you're a Christian and you've made Jesus your, your Lord and Savior, you're going to return with Jesus back here. <laughs> so Revelation 19, 11 says then. So here's the Antichrist. Here's all the nations. They're getting ready to the they're trying to, to take down Israel. Then it says, Then I saw heaven open, and a white horse was standing there. Its rider was named Faithful and True, for he judges fairly and wages a righteous war. His eyes were like flames of fire. On his head were many crowns. Jesus is returning in power and glory. It's like he's not the lamb who was slain. He's returning as king. All of these other bad kings, Jesus is saying, I, I'm the king. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to rule the world. It says his eyes were like flames of fire on his head were many crowns. A name was written on him that no one understood except himself. He wore a robe dipped in blood. That's the blood that cleanses us from our sin. And his title was the word of God. The armies of heaven dressed in finest of pure white linen followed him on white horses. So all you believers, we're the army. And I don't know how it's going to go down, but we're the army that's coming back with him. So, but we're not coming back to do any, Jesus is doing it all. We're just, we're just watching the show. <laughs> and then it says, from his mouth came a sharp sword to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron rod. He will release fierce, the fierce wrath of God, like juice flowing from a wine press. He's going to come in. He's going to speak a word and boom, it's just like they're all mowed down. And that's where you read where it says the blood will be so thick where it'll be up to the horse's bridles. He's just gonna speak, boom, and just blood. And it's gonna run, which way is Jerusalem? That way. Sure. It's gonna run all the way to Jerusalem. And from here, he's going to, and we'll see it, he's going to descend on the Mount of Olives, march across the Kidron Valley, bust open the Eastern Gate, which we're gonna see, and then he's gonna take his place on the throne. But that's Armageddon. Armageddon is not just a saying. Armageddon is not just, it is the end time war that is going to take down the Antichrist. You're going to be part of it. And Jesus is going to say, I am king. There's no other king but me. Either bow down, worship me, or <laughs> there's, there's no hope. So, uh, welcome to Armageddon.